In this video, we're gonna talk about the different aspect ratios that you may be experiencing when pulling in your Ray-Ban Metaglasses footage. Now, I use Premiere Pro for my editing platform, but for purposes of aspect ratio, you're gonna notice that when you import your footage, you may get varying different aspect ratios. So for this particular clip, as you can see here, 1552 by 2064. This one here is 1408 by 1872. And the third one here is 1488 by 1984. Now, you may be asking yourself, why does this happen? Well, with any camera that offers stabilization, especially automatic stabilization within the camera, it's going to crop the image in order to make sure that it successfully stabilizes it. So simply the reason behind the different aspect ratios is the stabilization and the crop factor within the glasses. Now, when you're editing, this may pose a little bit of a hassle, so you're gonna have to work with the actual footage in order to make it consistent. Now, one way you can do that, especially if you're gonna be utilizing the footage for long form YouTube videos, you're gonna wanna make sure that you make just a simple border. And I'm gonna go over that here in a second. But if we pull in one of the clips here, uh, the one that was, we're gonna keep the existing settings the same. This one is 1552 by 2064. We're, we're in uh, a 4K landscape format here. And just to verify that, if we go into sequence settings, we're looking at 4096 by 2160. So if we pull that in, what that's going to essentially do is it's going to give you a little bit of a crop and it's not gonna fill the frame. And we never wanna take the footage and zoom it in because that's just gonna create and drown out some of the footage that you capture within the glasses. But to show you the different sizes and in relation to the 4K landscape frame, you're gonna notice how this jumps down a little bit so we have a little bit of a gap there. And then most notably here, probably the biggest uh, stabilization that the glasses did for this particular one is a pretty significant drop off. So if we look between the two and scroll through, we can see how it crops in a little bit in various different sizes, if you can see that subtle adjustment there. So we never want to manipulate the footage too much because obviously you're gonna get some deterioration in quality. But one workaround that we can do that, especially within Premiere Pro, is create a border to help create consistency. And one way you can do that is simply by just creating a color map. Now, if you go to color map, it's going to create within the sequence settings, uh, the timeline settings, 40, 96 by 2160. We're gonna go ahead and just create a white color map and we can call this white one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another one. We can simply just copy and paste this one within the folder and we're gonna call this white two. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just stack two of these. So white one on top of white two on top of the original footage. If I hover over that, you're gonna notice that if I unhide these, now it covers my footage. What you could simply do is I go in with my effects folder. You can simply search crop, but I have this automatically saved. I'm gonna go ahead and crop here on this one and I'm gonna add a crop to the uh, additional color map. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cover this or, or uh, hide that particular uh, file or that particular color mat. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go into my crop. I'm going to find, I'm gonna crop. As you can see, it's starting to reveal the original footage. I'm just gonna create a consistent border here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hide that one, unhide this one. I have the crop already set. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing from the left side and create the border there. Now, if I show both of them, now I have a consistent border. Now, the only thing is through each uh, file or each uh, footage that you have in the timeline, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just increase the size a little bit, right? So we wanna get that that bottom frame and that uh, the black uh, at the top and black at the bottom just to kind of get rid of that there So I've only increased the scale just a little bit. So we're at 106 there now we're gonna notice that if I go ahead and Start scrolling over We still have to deal with these other files that are a bit smaller So even if I drag my color mat across my whole timeline here covering all of my footage we're gonna to have to make those adjustments to have the consistency as well. So I've already fixed this one. So we're good there. We've got a consistent border. These color mats serve as a consistent border for you. So now if we go over to the other footage, you're gonna see how it jumps down. Now I have that black uh, border and it's obviously lacking consistency. So all I'm gonna do is the same thing here. 
is I'm going to slightly increase because that was a smaller aspect ratio. Now we're at 111, so it's not going to distort it too bad. The 1080 is pretty clear, so you're not going to lose quality too much here simply by increasing it by uh, 10 to 20. Here, we've got another issue. This is the smallest one here, so we're going to go ahead and increase that, and that goes to about 117. Now, you're going to want to make sure that, obviously, whatever you're capturing the main um, the main focal point is, is if, if I wanted to slide this over, I do have a little bit of, uh, play here within, uh, that particular file, but the larger file, I may be able to adjust if I wanted to simply slide things over a little bit. If something's out of frame, you may have to have some, you may have to go through a little bit of repositioning, but the main aspect here is we want to be able to create consistency in your timeline, especially if you're using it for long form YouTube footage. And then you could put any, you know, maybe some text or some graphics on the side. Uh, I've used simply just a film with Ray-Ban meta glasses. So people, when they're watching this, they know that it's coming from um, the particular camera or, you know, while you're using the vertical format. That I've talked about in my videos, the downside of, of having vertical on a landscape uh, format is, is a little bit uh, of an adjustment, but you can get away with it just by creating that consistency. So hopefully this helped. If it did, make sure that you give the video a like. It helps other people like us that are looking to edit within the Ray-Ban Metaglasses footage that we use. Thanks for watching.